What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're going to focus in on the, um, you know, piece Patrick O'Sullivan wrote for the, uh, the Players Tribune about, you know, his really, really, really top upbringing. Um, you know, it, it's a pretty well-known story out there in the hockey community, but it, it still bears mentioning. Uh, his old man was a fucking prick, um, to put it really, really, really bluntly. And, you know, his, his father was a failed, you know, minor leaguer, never made the show, and from the time the kid was born essentially abuse him into becoming a great player and you know the 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 piece was really eye-opening that you know other parents had suspicion stuff was going on but no one ever really stepped up and did anything for him and you know you think about O'Sullivan as a kid you know being born into that situation he doesn't know any better he doesn't know that like this isn't you know normal behavior for your old man. I think he figured it out after, you know, however many beatings and, um, you know, early morning workouts before school and, you know, how many breakdowns his old man had after hockey games. I mean, and the other thing with Sullivan is how good of a player he was. You know, I sucked growing up, so if my, my dad came out hard on me, I'd be like, all right, that's not about figures. But, um, you know, he was a dominant player at every level. And we'll get to the later levels in a second, but, you know, it was really sad to see, you know, how much talent the kid had and, you know, how abuse of the father was. And again, that story's been out there for, you know, 10, 12 years. And, uh, you know, the other thing that really stood out was that his mother, I think was also, uh, it just came across like a victim of abuse as well, was like kind of compliant with the whole thing. Like, if you don't play well, it's going to be a bad night tonight. You know, what kind of pressure is it to put on a kid? You know, if you don't have a hat trick, you're going to get the shit kicked out of you after the game. What? what? You know, what the fuck kind of parenting is that? And, um, you know, just, uh, it's a sad situation, and hopefully him writing that helps, you know, some other kids that are maybe in a similar situation, you know. There's always going to be crazed hockey parents, and I know that's a stereotype, but, you know, it's it's reality. And, you know, his father was that to a T and really just ruined his own kid's career in so many ways. Um, but, you know, it's just looking back on it, it's, it's a damn shame. And then, you know, I, Sullivan wanted to go to Michigan, he committed there. Ended up in Mississauga, um, dominated the OHL, dominated the AHL, and then, uh, you know, kind of bounced around the NHL. Could never really find a full-time consistent niche. And, uh, you know, just really, I think, eh, you look at the uh, the years of abuse, and I, I just think psychologically, the kid, and he played his last pro hockey game in Helsinki at age 28. So, you know, the kid was done with hockey at age 28. It's like, wow. That's how good of a player he is, he was, and you know how it all kind of fell apart. But you know, you you, uh, you got to feel for the kid. I mean, he's a top five talent in the greatest draft of all time, 2003. He fell to the second round. You know, and they, they had to have a full the NHL had to give the kid a full security detail because his old man was there. And the other thing was like that the, the father would always like sneak in a rink and always make sure his presence was known. And that psychologically, you know, for a 17, 18, 19 year old kid, that's that's tough. You know, good luck with that. Um, but, you know, it's unfortunate. But, again, if O'Sullivan speaking out about the abuse helps other kids, then, you know, there's definitely, you know, some good can come from this god-awful fucked-up situation. But I remember watching the kid play. I mean, he had a real good run there in L.A. for a minute. Um, and, you know, it was just a uh, – you could tell the skill set was there. His skill set was real. Fortunately, everything else was kind of falling apart for him. Anyway, that's our next episode of the Pablo Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.